Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has announced the appointment of Fable Williams as the new energy minister amid the Petrogem scandal. He also announced other changes to the executive and reassignments of some permanent secretaries. And the permanent secretary in the office of the Prime Minister, Sancia Bennett Templer, has said sorry for any possible misunderstanding over the separation package she disclosed for the resigned Petrogem Human Resource Manager, Yulan Ramherak. Last week, Bennett Templer reportedly said the gross separation package was $9.2 million, but documents tabled in Parliament yesterday showed it was $13.37 million. Police investigators are yet to determine a motive for this morning's killing of fitness instructor Christopher Brown. The police say the 52-year-old Brown was fatally shot by unknown assailants at the Fit Farm Fitness Club on Upper Braemar Avenue in St. Andrew. Meanwhile, a male suspect is now in police custody for the murder of Member of Parliament for Portland East, Linvale Bloomfield. The suspect was arrested in Buff Bay, Portland shortly before 2 o'clock today. In sports, Jamaican Olympian Kemoy Campbell walked for the first time yesterday since his hospitalization on Saturday after collapsing at the Milrose Games in New York. Campbell said he cried to have seen the outpouring of care towards him. In your currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $135.01, the British pound sterling for $173.22, and the Canadian dollar for $102.06. In your weather forecast on Thursday morning, there will be cloudy skies and showers likely over northern and southeastern parishes. In the afternoon, expect scattered showers across the island with cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.